Welcome YouTubers! We're going to talk about titrations now in our unit of solutions and stoichiometry. The thing about titrations is that you do need to know a little bit about acids and bases. Acids, bases, alkalis, and salts. Now assuming that you have no things about that, I would continue with the lesson. Otherwise, please Go to the menu list, menu list, and find the unit on acids and bases that I have put out for this series of playlists as well. So let's get down to it. Titration. You obtain an unknown acidic sample of water from a nearby lake and was asked to determine the concentration of the unknown sample. What would you do? Well. You would first take the sample of water and you will measure how much water sample that you need to test out. So for example, I would say let's test out 10 milliliters of it. And that is equivalent to 10 cubic centimeters. Okay? And I'll put that these contents into a flask an Erlenmeyer flask or a conical flask okay so 10 milliliters of that and then I would pour in a known concentration of alkali into my burette okay so for example when I look into my lab I saw that the concentration of the alkali was about 0.75 moles of sodium hydroxide. And that means it's 0.75 moles per cubic decimeters. I will fill it up unto the zero mark. Okay? Now, I'll place the... I'll put a couple of drops of ink here into the flask. And then I'll place the flask under the burette. And then I'll turn the knob of the burette until volumes of alkali will drip into the acid. This is my unknown acid, okay? My unknown acid. And I would continue swirling the conical flask while titrating the alkali into the acid. And when I see there's a color change in the indicator, let's say I color change from colorless to pink. Okay, this is my pink. I will stop the titration and I will look at how much alkali I used. So for example, if I said that the amount of alkali I used is 25 milliliters, then I can now, with the information of the volume of acid, the concentration of the alkali, and the volume of alkali used, I can now calculate the concentration of the acid by using the same formula of M1V1 equals M2V2. And in this case, M1V1 is the concentration and here we go. The concentration and volume of acid and M2V2 is the concentration and volume of the alkali. I can now determine the concentration of the acid by rearranging the formula to M1 equals to M2V2 over V1. M2 has been given to us, 0.75, V2 is 25, and V1 is 10. Now you may ask me, why did I not convert these units here to um, cubic decimeters? Well, the reason is because the unit here is the same as the unit here. And so these two units will cancel each other out. So if I were to calculate this, 
it would be 0.75 multiplied by 25 and divided by 10. It would be 1.875. So the amount of the concentration of the acid will be 1.875 moles of that acid. Okay, and if I converted these to cubic decimeters, you will still get the same answer. So that's it.